Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at um, another great package in R and probably one of the most used packages in R. Um, R is renowned for uh, great graphics, um, and, and that is mainly due to the the ggplot um, uh, the, the ggplot2 package, pardon me. So, um, first things first, let's install that package. So, install.packages ggplot2 uh, well, why not go to Canada? Um, now, while that installs, let me just uh, explain very briefly. So the ggplot package really has two functions, well, a lot more than two functions, but two tools. qplot, which is uh, kind of a wrapper on ggplot. So ggplot is, is where you can do some really heavy lifting. We won't actually go into that. Uh, we're going to just stick with qplot in uh, this video and the next. Um, because we'll see already, it allows us to do uh, more than enough. Um, first of all, qplot acts very similarly to plot in that if you pass it things, it, because it's an object-oriented language, kind of knows what you want. So first of all, let's just write data equals jjj um, and x equals height dot in dot meters. Oh, I've forgotten to require the package. I've just installed it. I haven't loaded it. And now if we run that, we get a very basic uh, histogram All right, of height in meters. I've passed it just the one variable, so it's guessed that this is what I wanted to do. Um, we can actually improve on that quite substantially by including some more uh, options. So first of all, let's change the bin width, bin width to uh, 0 0.075. Um, let's write a nice title, um, height of people in the JJJ data set. Let's, uh, some, we can put on a label on the x-axis and uh, height and something on the y-axis frequency so if we write that things are ready this is actually going to look like quite a nice little graph now okay I'm of course I'm squashing it a bit uh, just because my screen's a bit small um, but that's that's a very nice little graph, and it's it's publication quality. You, you could put that in a paper without thinking twice. I mean, the data itself is not very interesting, but the graph is fine. Um, but we can we can actually change it even more um, if we keep everything the same, but add on this um, geom, and geom is an option that comes around back again and again and again, and put in the word density, and if we run that, then we get a nice density plot. Um, so no longer a histogram, but a density plot. It's very simple to, to just change from one to the other um, just by getting rid of that line of code. Um, if we pass two vectors to qplot, then, as you'd expect, we get a um, scatter plot. So data equals jjj, x equals height um, in meters, and y equals weight in kg. Um, so if we just run that, we've got a scatter plot. And then we can do something else that's uh, really nice and really simple to do is we can say, well, actually, let's, uh, let's make those dots different sizes based on everyone's age. And so now we start getting um, some information about the weight versus height, as well as some information about their age. That's very easy um, to do. Now, few few other things we can get scatter plots against categorical data. So, qplot um, data equals jjj, um, and then we're going to say, all right, well, x is just going to be sex, and y is going to be height in meters. So it's going to automatically know this is a different type of graph. 
and it's going to produce us what we want there. So either female or male. Um, and if we change this slightly with the geom option again to say box plot, well now we're beginning to get a box plot. And that's uh, all so easy, code's nice, and these are publication quality um, graphs. So that's a very basic Q plot, how to get scatter plots, density plots, histograms, uh, and box plots um, using the, the ggplot package.